What comics am I reading this week? Exciting day at the Wordberg Lair. Just got a parcel from the great folks at Strange Adventures. Shout out Strange Adventures in Halifax. This is my uh, my new comics delivery this week, and it actually came faster than I thought it was going to come, and uh, I think I know what's in here. So we're going to open this up. Shout out Dave and Cal at Strange Adventures and the whole crew here. This is, I'm really excited. I just decided, I was like, you know what, people ask me, what am I reading? What are you reading this week? And I read so many comics that... Don't do a lot of. I, I read way more comics than I uh, make unboxing videos. But I think the new Cobra Commander comic is in here, which I'm very excited to see. I think the new issue of Maple Terrace. Ooh, let's see what's in there. Um, this is the week. Today is January, uh, what is it, 19th? Oh. What do we got in here? All right. Mmm. Mmm. Smell that new sprint. Takes me back to the paper root days. All right. Woo. Okay, here we go. We have got the new issue of Maple Terrace. If you're not reading this, Noah Van Siver, autobiographical with uh, some creative liberty. This is the third issue. Shout out Alex, my homie Arlex the Robot, who, uh, I don't know if you can see that cover, the back cover there. Look at those doodles. Recognize anybody? Looks like Bucky O'Hare, uh, a Predator, a Terminator, um, a Crash Test Dummy toy, an X-Men Cyclops. Oh, there's a Mad Ball? Yeah, you can tell why I'm reading this. Um, Great flashback to growing up in the 90s. No Van Siver illustrates and writes this comic. Really fun. Um, you know, a bit of a tearjerker at times because some of the content is extremely relatable. Uh, but uh, just absolutely beautiful, fun indie comic. Highly recommend Maple Terrace. The new issue of Gargoyles. Yeah. For, uh, for all you gargs out there. Um, this is a really great uh, series written by Greg Wiseman, who uh, was the, one of the creators of the original Gargoyles cartoon at Disney, and they're doing this ongoing comic series now. Finally, there have been a few comics in the past. There was a Marvel series, there was a Slave Labor graphics uh, series, and uh, this is issue 11. We got Goliath climbing almost looks like who did the cover here yeah it's a variant cover I really like it that almost gives me like Jay Lee vibes but not quite I don't know really cool cover ooh Transformers new issue of Transformers issue 4 of course Daniel Warren Johnson Mike Spicer on the art really great Skybound listen you know I love Transformers, but when you find a G.I. Joe cover like that with Serpentor on it, that is just beautiful. Andy, Andy Kubert doing Serpentor? Come on, are you kidding me? Dude, this looks so good. Uh, Larry Hama, Chris Mooneyham, um, and Francesco Segala doing the colors. This is the continuing Adventures of a Real American Hero started by Larry Hama at Marvel back in the 80s. Skybound, of course, now has the rights to uh, and the license to publish all the G.I. Joe and Transformer comics. And thankfully, they're continuing Larry's epic run. So this is issue, uh, we're at 303 already. Wow, 303 issues. Pretty much all by the same writer, Larry Hama. Uh, I think maybe... I would guess maybe five issues out of the entire 303 are not written by Larry. I'm sure someone will correct me, but off the top of my head, uh, he wrote pretty much every issue. And uh, oh yeah, I've got uh, oh this cover for 302 with the whale, a funeral for a friend. That's actually a really nice cover too. I don't want. 
want to just flash by it. Guys, I'm trying. I was like, I'm just going to make this a really quick video, but look, this is a comic haul. More Transformers. I got Transformers 3 and 4 in this pile. Ooh, Local Man. If you're not reading this, Tim Seeley. Really fun, really fun. Um, it's a love letter to 90s image comics with a, you know, with a bit of a twist. Local Man, this is, where are we at now? We're, this is issue eight already. I think I'm behind, I haven't read the last couple issues. Cause you know, you, your read pile just keeps stacking up. Um, but highly recommend Local Man, nice flip cover. You can definitely tell the uh, 90s inspired comic vibes. Duke number one, Joshua Williamson, Tom Riley. Noticing a theme here? <laughs> a lot of retro stuff. This is a big, this is a big week, big month for uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers comics for me. The new Cobra Commander, oh, I just saw something. Wow, okay. Guys, I'm already seeing some crazy spoilers in here. I heard rumors of Cobra La showing up. Uh, I think at this point, it's not so much of a spoiler. I'm actually more excited to see Cobra Commander wearing um, one of his outfits you don't normally see. Look at that. That is from a late era G.I. Joe figure. Um, 90, was that 91 Cobra Commander? Someone's gonna correct me there. But we don't see that, that outfit too often. Um, really, really excited to see this. A uh, fun fact, years ago, I had a pitch for a G.I. Joe Cobra series uh, that involved Cobra Law. And uh, I don't know if anybody ever read it. I sent it off and never heard anything. But um, who knows, maybe, maybe it'll come back. On the wrong Ralph Pulaski, I kind of hint at uh, what my story idea was. Uh, and maybe that alone will give you a clue. But uh, it was just a fun, it was a fun idea. Maybe one day. And then I've got these two big books to round out the, oh man, I got so much to read. I'm not gonna get anything done. Um, I Am Stan, Tom Scioli. I've got the Jack Kirby book here as well. So Tom Scioli, of course, has done a Jack Kirby book and the Stan Lee book. I Am Stan, a graphic biography of the legendary Stan Lee. Uh, really curious and interested to read this. I love the Jack Kirby book. This was uh, a great um, a great biography of the King of Comics. And now for Stan Lee, um, really curious to see how Tom continues his uh, historical um, coverage of these greats. And then, ooh, a new Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips comic. Where the Body Was. If you, anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge Ed Brubaker fan. I feel like of all the comics creators, Brubaker has like the best uh, on base percentage for me, if uh, to use a baseball term. Like Brubaker of everybody I've read, I feel like Brubaker has like rarely let me down and he's written a lot of amazing comics and of course with Sean Phillips great team um, but yeah I find Brubaker just the most consistent original writer like every time I read his stuff and you know I have a lot of, of, of favorite creators but uh, you know I'm, I really enjoy Brubaker's output um, if you aren't familiar with him uh, I mean Winter Soldier was a really uh, it was a groundbreaking work that you probably know now from Bucky in the movies. Uh, but these have been really, really great. The Fearless books, um, of course, Criminal, which there's now a show for. I mean, I, Fatale, like there's so many great Brubaker stories. Um, yeah, so that's my haul. Big shout out, Strange Adventures. If you need some comics, definitely hit them up. Uh, they do mail order, obviously, and uh, this package came here into the Wordberg lair. And yeah, this is just a real, uh, you know, off the cuff unboxing, just because I really wanted to read some comics. So I'll let you know how they are 
if uh, if you got some comics this week, let me know. What what are you reading? What should I check out? Uh, Local Man, Cobra Commander. What's going to be top of the pile this week? It's one of these three is going to be the first thing I read. I don't know. Maple Terrace, Cobra Commander, or Local Man. It's probably going to be Cobra Commander. All right. That made top of the pile this week. Uh, we'll catch up with you later. I'm Word Burglar. Peace.